Now today we will deal with object casting. Now we have already seen casting in uh, data types as we can cast int to a float. We can cast a float to a double. Now we will see how casting works in case of objects. Now I have a class A which has a method say x, uh, sorry variable say x and a method say show and another class B which has a variable y and a variable uh, sorry method show one. So as we can see these two classes are totally unrelated. I have an object which is a1 of class A, I have object b1 of class B and in case I write a1 equal to b1 or b1 equal to a1. So both of them do not execute. Either I write a1 equal to b1 or I write b1 equal to a1. So both of them they generate an error because unless and until there is a relationship between the classes you cannot have the casting between the objects. So this is the first condition for object casting that the classes in which you want to have the uh, casting between they must have a inheritance relation. So the first thing we have made it clear that no unrelated classes can have casting in between. This will always generate a class cast exception. So now we will have a relationship between the classes and then we will see what situation can work and what cannot work. So I will again have the two objects and the two scenarios that we have. Now again I will uh, see the two scenes that we have a1 equal to b1 and b1 equal to a1. So let us first see the first case a1 equal to b1. Now we have an inheritance relation class B extends A. So this is the superclass and this is the subclass. So A1 is an object, refers to an object which has a content of X and has a content of show. So the B object, now it will not only have this shade this with red. So this red is the part that is inherited into B from A. This is the inherited part and this will contain X, this will contain show. And this part which is the declared by the B itself contains the Y and the show one. So what exactly are we doing when we are writing this statement? I am trying to assign this object to A1 instead of this. So I will just write this off. So I am assigning this object to a1. Now, now I will see whether this assignment works or not. Now this assignment works because whatever is required for the, for the definition of object A1 which belongs to class A is X and show. Now, X and show are required to defi define an object of type A. So this it can derive from this part. So the definition which is required for the object A1 is contained within B1 because it has been inherited from A itself. So assigning B1 equal to A1 does not mean that now you can operate Y with A1 or you can operate show1 with A1. No, we cannot do this. The only thing is that this assignment works and A1 refers to the inherited uh, portion and the definition which is the part which is required to define A is there within the B object. So this assignment works perfectly okay. 
However, for the other assignment to work, see, so I'll just uh, repeat what I have already said so as to make this more clear. <coughs> for an, any assignment like this to work, the B1 object must possess everything that is required for the definition of A1 and that is there within the B1 object because that is inherited from A into B. So the B1 object already contains all the stuff that is required for the definition of A1 and therefore this assignment works perfectly okay. However, the reverse case when we assign an object of A1 to B1 in this case A1 refers to this object and B1 now also refers to this object. Now to complete the definition of B1, this object needs this part. It needs a variable y, it needs a method shown which the system cannot add. So this object is an inadequate to complete the definition of B1, therefore this assignment does not work. So in short we can say that the superclass can be assigned an object of the subclass whereas the subclass cannot be assigned an object of the superclass because the object of the superclass will always have less data or less uh, it can it cannot add the information that the superclass has added to make this object relevant to the type B because this object only has X and show whereas to become an object of class B it requires X, Y, show and show one. So it, it is somewhat of an incomplete object. So this A1 cannot be assigned to B1 because it does not fulfill the criteria to be a object of class B. However in this case B1 already contains whatever is required to complete the definition of A1 but it is subject to the restriction that A1 cannot access the part which is defined or added by B1. It can only access the part which is as per the definition of A1. So we will go back to Eclipse and just see how this is all is working. So I have a class P which is the parent class. I have a class C which is the child class. Now there is a third scenario to this which we will just see. Now I create an object of class P. I create an object of the child. Now we have just seen that the parent class can be assigned an object of the child class or in other ways we can say that super class object can be assigned the subclass object. So this is perfectly com compiling there is no error. However in case I write the reverse order I will just comment this. In case I pass the super class object to the subclass object we are getting an error. It says type mismatch cannot convert from parent to child. <coughs> However, if I write a small cast in front of this, the program compiles. If I write a small casting in front of object P1, the program compiles, but when I run the program, there is a runtime error which says that P cannot be cast to C. Now, what is happening here? Why this is compiling and this is not running? 